hey y'all welcome back to another video as y'all can tell by the title we are doing a 13 by 4 um lace frontal wig now this wig i actually got from um aliexpress and i cannot remember the name of this company it's like a four letter word um and i keep forgetting but i'm gonna leave the link down below to the wig so y'all know where to find it. if y'all like this wig then y'all know where to purchase it or whatever um so we just gonna go ahead and jump into this video uh as y'all can tell each, your girl is starting off with the ball cap method of course you know i go ahead and use a got to be spray first um blow dry it until it's completely dry and then i turn around and come back with the adhesive it doesn't matter what adhesive you use whichever one you feel comfortable with whichever one works best for you to me all adhesives are the same so it really don't matter um this adhesive is not the ghost bond one it's another kind it's with a k i forgot the name of it i don't know what's wrong with me i'm getting brain farts <laughs> so i'm gonna leave that link down below to the adhesive that i use also so i do one layer of that adhesive and then i blow dry it until it turns clear or at least till my cap is like sticking sticking until on my face on my forehead or whatever so yeah All right, y'all. So, of course, y'all know y'all need to use um, your foundation that matches your skin tone to um, actually do the ball cap method. That's the whole point. You want to look like you're bald. You want to, you know, make it look seamless. So, you go ahead and use the foundation of your choice on the cap. And then after we um, put that foundation all over the cap, we're going to put the same foundation on the inside and the inside of your wig on the lace part and as y'all can tell um this lace is actually well the description said the lace was a medium brown and it's looking very transparent to me i mean it got a little color to it but i mean hey whatever they say they say it's medium brown is medium brown so i just go ahead and put my um foundation on the inside of the cap and i put I actually put a little bit on top but i'm gonna do that after i actually put it on my head so we go ahead and cut this cap off as close to your hairline as possible um i actually need another pair of scissors these scissors are like it had enough they're not even cutting them all they're so dull i'm gonna have to put that on my to-do list hair scissors i added to my card on amazon but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this cap off. And then after I cut this cap off, I'm going to try my best to cut the um, the rest of the excess um, cap off. And then I'm going to come with that same brush with the foundation. That have, it has some foundation left on the brush. And then I'm going to come back and um, just put it at the ends. As y'all can tell, it's like rolling up. And the white part that's not sticking, I'm going to just go ahead and cover that up with makeup.
All right, so in this clip, um, y'all gonna actually just see me use one layer of glue, but I actually use three. It don't pay for me to record me putting all three layers. It's a repetitive step, and I don't want to waste you guys' time. So this is me actually putting one layer on, but then I'm gonna cut the other two parts out. But every time I do lay my wigs down, I always use three layers. Just smooth it out. Smooth it out until like you get like an even layer. Make sure there's no clumps of white. You just want to make it make sure that it's smooth as possible so it can dry evenly. And when it dry evenly, you're not gonna have no no clumps of white, you know, glue. And it's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard for that to dry or even get clear because it's clumps. That's why you try your best to do like an even layer of glue. And then you of course you know you do three. Or whatever. So you blow dry, blow dry it until it get clear, and then we're about to lay this baby down. Alright y'all, so right here, y'all see me pass the comb over the lace and the hairline. I'm just trying to make sure that the, the lace is into the glue, basically. So, right here, y'all see me um cutting the excess lace that's from around my ear. Y'all do not want y'all wig sitting on top of y'all ear. I mean, if y'all like that, go for it. But me, that's irritating. It's so irritating for my wig just to be sitting on my ear. It don't look right, especially if I want to put up my hair. Like, it's just not going to look right. So, y'all, make sure y'all cut off the tabs on the side of y'all ear. Some people don't have to if y'all head is bigger. Um, I think I have a normal size head. I think it's kind of big, but... Uh, it's pretty normal, so I still be having to cut my tabs off. And people with smaller heads, they definitely have to cut like a lot of the side of the side of the wigs, the tabs off. So make sure y'all do that, cause it's very uncomfortable for y'all wigs to be sitting on top of y'all ear like that. All right, so right here, not right here, cause your girl was getting a little loose. Right here, I'm gonna just make sure I just blow dry it a little bit more. And then I'm going to come back. Let me see. Do I cut it first? I don't remember. Yeah, I think I'll cut it first. I'm going to cut it. And then y'all going to see me attempt to um, do these baby hairs. Now, y'all know how I am about my baby hairs. Like, I'm learning. But I think I did a good job. Y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. Y'all just watch. Y'all going to see. Let me cut this lace off. And then y'all going to see.
Now tell me I ain't getting better. Please tell me I'm not getting better. I'm learning. I'm learning, y'all. I don't know what made me try to do my baby hairs this way, but I liked it. It went with the curly look or whatever, and I was just like, well, it's kind of cute. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. So right here, I'm just adding a little bit of more um, foundation to the in-between, like in-between the hair on the lace, just to make sure everything is melted. Then I did another layer, got to be blow dry, and then I'm going to go ahead and wrap it with my elastic band. And then um, y'all going to see me refresh these curls. I'm going to basically comb out because this is still, this is air dry curls right here. So I'm going to comb it out and then I'm going to, y'all going to see me put um, some, some type of curling gel in it and water and then that is it that's it for this video but i'll catch y'all at the end All right, y'all, so this is the final look. I do thank y'all for watching. Look at that lace just melted into my scalp. Like, to say that's light brown lace, like, it melted so good. Like, so I guess I can do light brown. But I do thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel. Leave comments. Let me know what y'all want me to do. And I promise to, like continue giving y'all more videos i promise
See y'all.